Hello and welcome to episode 15 of my RuneScape tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on doing the quest Buyers and Sellers because if we take a look at the featured Ah, oh, well, it was under featured before. It changes every time you open it up, then I'm guessing. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to do that quest because it looked rather good and I wanted to start. It's to do with joining the Thieves Guild. So here it is, buyers and sellers. Uh, speak to Darren in his cellar north of Lumbridge Furnace. Um, the length is short to medium, required items, some logs or the means to acquire them. Well, we've now got a rune axe, so I believe we've got that. And the rewards are one quest point, 500 thieving XP, because this is the uh, Thieves Guild, and of course access to the Thieves Guild. And we'll get two more treasure hunter keys, which is cool. So I'm going to set that active. And... Now what we need to do, you see there's a blue box up here. I know exactly where we need to go. So from the lodestone, you're going to head north. Up just past the bank. So there's the um, smithy on the right, bank on the left. And if we walk just past this house, there's a cellar, a trapdoor, just there. The building, if I can see who's in it, has got that Zam Zamarukian herbalist. So that's how you know you've got the right building. But it's easy enough to find because it's just across from the bank. So let's left click that. Okay, so we're in the cellar. Now we're going to walk down here. And talk to Darren. There he is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, oh, come in, come in. I was just about to get started. Don't let me stop you. Ladies and gentlemen of Lumbridge. Tonight I stand before you to offer you the ultimate in opportunities. I offer you the chance to make your mark on a society rife with imbalance and folly. I offer you a chance to redistribute, redistribute, <laughs> redistribute the wealth of our very civilization. You can see I'm still waking up. I offer you the freedom to live your life without the need to worry whether your rent will be paid this month. I offer you the skills to pay your way through the costs everyone must face. I offer you vengeance against those who take and take yet give nothing in return. I offer you justice at its most fundamental level. Some will say I am a scofflaw, a thief, a brigand. These people are correct. But if I scoff at the law, it is because the law is as we know it is a tool that the man is using purely to keep us in place. If I thieve, it is from those who have more than they deserve and more than they need. And if I am a brigand, it is only by the standards of those whom I uh, brig. <laughs> if you join me, I can offer you every opportunity for reward and for fame, or at least infamy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your destiny. Welcome to the pre pre preliminary course. You find members in waiting of the underworld gentry. Wow. Here, here you will discover the techniques, the tricks, the training and the trials that mark your passage into this hidden elite. Here you will become the best of the best, joining the ranks of the steely-eyed exploiters of this world's bloated social parasites in a quest for community justice and personal enrichment. What a speech. You will. Yes, we have a question. Oh, and this is me. <clears throat> is this it? The world-renowned guild is a cellar with two blokes and a straw dummy lurking in it. 
Uh, well, how long has this guild been in operation? Yes, two weeks. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't do that one, this won't go no further. So, and what is it you need done by your new members? Here's what we need, money. Really, you amaze me. <laughs> I know, it's hardly the most high-flying goal, but we need to start somewhere. To be precise, we need to start by expanding this cellar into a headquarters befitting a major player on the global crime stage. I take it you have some sort of plan for doing this? Of course I do. In Lumbridge, Castle's bank is a golden chalice of particular workmanship and value. I have found a willing buyer for it, and now it merely remains to collect the item in question. From the bank's vault. Correct, and since the vault is not easy, easily breached, we shall need the key from its owner. Its owner being... I shall send my right-hand man Robin to determine that as soon as I may. He shall be around to brief you in the castle grounds. Then you must merely acquire the key by stealth or by force. Open the vault, return the chalice and... You seem to be assuming a certain amount here. Oh, but of course you'll help. I can offer you the best of training and the greatest of rewards for your assistance. In fact, let me have a look at your technique and see what we can do with you. So here we go. Now we can accept the quest. Right, cool. Oh, very well. Splendid. Let's get you set up then. This is the mark. One training dummy. It is designed for maximum pocket size and minimum observation skills, which, seeing as it is made of wood, straw and canvas, was not hard to achieve. <laughs> it will suffice for early training and for testing, but if you have any talent at all, it will not be of use to you for long. Right, I want you to pick the pocket of that dummy as sneakily and as delicately as you possibly can. No. No, no, no. My granny could pick a pocket better than that. I think we shall have to start from the beginning. Just keep picking that dummy's enormous canvas pockets and I'll give you the benefit of my wisdom. So, okay, we... Oh, no, didn't mean to attack. Now you see, that's the thing you don't want to be doing if you want to avoid notice. Yeah, alright, I should have right-clicked and then picked pocket. There we go. Oh, look, and I'm getting thieving experience. Remember, loose fingers, tight wrists, do it again. <clears throat> yeah, that's going up quick. Calm, but quick. That's the ticket again. It's the eye of the yat, kayat. It's the will of the heist again. Hanky chief on, hanky chief off. Well, no, just hanky chief off, actually, again. I think he must be a bit mad. Um, pa, pa, um. Wait, no, that's the second act. Yeah, he's definitely a bit nuts. Once more with feeling. Oh, we gained a level up. Steal from vegetable stall. That's cool. Okay, let's carry on. So, though we're doing a quest, we're actually working on our thieving skill. 
which is cool and which is why I wanted to do it because there's some great stuff you can uh, steal really it's a lot of fun can we get started I'm ready I'm afraid you still need a little more practice the training dummies are at your service if you wish or you could try live targets in town you should return for further testing at level 5 thieving okay so right what we got to do then is get to level 5 in thieving and what would be a good idea is for me now to use these so you can these um prismatic uh, shards that we got from the treasure hunter you can stack them up uh, so for example let's find the thieving there it is um, actually I'm better off showing you in the skills so the thieving you can see I've still got 49 bonus experience so I'm going to stack up these other two shards uh, so let's choose thieving so I've got 264 bonus in there now and if we do this so if I check this and show you I've now got 313 if I do it again that's given me another further 526 so I've now got 839 so you see and my pockets empty how cool right let's keep thieving because that'll speed it up now Oh, I fumbled. Yeah, you see, 8 bonus XP. It doesn't sound like a great deal, but you can see how quickly the skill's going up. Oh, I'm doing lots of fumbling. Yeah, it keeps on fumbling for some reason. Maybe I'm done with this dummy. Oh no, there we go. Level 3. Level four. And you thought it was going to take me a long time. There we go, level five thieving. I can now continue with this quest. Steal from the baker's stall. Steal from the tea stall, crafting stall, monkey stall, I think it said. Right, so let's talk to Darren again. Greetings, my young recruit. You return. Shall we test your skill then? I can't let you go out there unprepared. All right. Right, I want you to pick the pocket of the dummy as sneakily and delicately as you possibly can. That was very nicely done, young sir. I think you're quite ready enough for the big wide world, unless you'd like some advice. What can you teach me? Just keep picking that dummy's enormous canvas pocket and I'll give you the benefit of my wisdom. Oh, right, no. So I want to continue the actual quest. Uh, so let's go through this head over to Lumbridge ah oh, so here's what I've got to do head over to Lumbridge Castle Courtyard Robin should have found out the identity of the chalice's owner by then 
At that point you just need to get the key by any means necessary, open the vault and then come back with the chalice. Why can't you do this? Oh, Robin and I are both too well known. Anyone with valuables would be instantly on their guard. No, I'm afraid it will have to be you doing the dirty work this time. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see me in action some other time. Okay, right, so off we go to Lumbridge Castle. Um, why don't I just teleport? I mean, it probably took the same time if I run it, but... Right, here we go, Lumbridge Castle. Right, so Darren is over here. As you look at the castle, he's to the left. And um, not Darren, sorry, Robin. And here he is, so let's talk to Robin. The purple owl croaks at dawn. Um, does it? Oh, never mind. I have some information for you. So that was his password, his <laughs> which I failed. Go ahead. <clears throat> the chalice is no longer being held by the bank. Seems that the owner withdrew it a couple of days ago and wandered off in the direction of Lumbridge Swamp. A wild-haired old man with a bad temper. Who'd want to live in a swamp? Someone who wants to be left alone, I imagine. Looks like that's my next stop, anyway. No violence, if you please. We're thieves, not muggers, and priests tend to be well in with the gods. Be subtle, if an adventurer can be subtle. See if you can pick his pocket for the key. Good luck. Okay, so we're off to the swamps, which is just down there. Okay, right, so... <clears throat> Let's go in and talk to him, or have a look around. Let's open the door. If I check the quest log in actual fact, see what it says there. So, Robin tells me that the chalice has been taken into Lumbridge Swamp by an irritable old man. And he happens to live here, this hut, as you can see in the woods. And it's Father Ernie. So let's go inside. And if we take a look over here, we see that there is a display case. We try and open it. The golden chalice is firmly locked inside this sturdy display case. So, there's nothing I can do about that. Let's try and pick Father Ernie's pocket. For an old man, he's very alert. You can't get an opportunity to pick his pocket. Now, has this updated or have I got to talk to him? Right, okay. So let's talk. Go away, I'm meditating. Nice chalice. That's a nice chalice. Aren't you afraid? Oh, wait a minute, We're, let's have a look. Can I have a look at it? If you must, it's in the display case over there. I meant a closer look. It's only a couple of inches from the glass. Can I hold it? And get grubby finger marks over it? I think not. Right, I think uh, so. That is... I don't think there's anything else I can really say to do with that. Bye then. But... Hmm, 
I'll need something more urgent to draw his eye. Perhaps Robin can help. What was that? Mumble, mumble, mumble. Quite. Right, okay, so there you go then. That's just updated. It's told me that I need to go back to Robin. I need to find a way to divert Father Ernie's attention so I can get hold of the key. Maybe Robin can advise me. So, we'll pull back, be the quickest. And head back to Robin. And talk to him. Father Ernie over in the swamps has the chalice in his hut, but I can't get the key off him. You might have to engineer a crisis then. Don't go setting fire to his house though. A fire outside his window should do the trick. Is that not highly irresponsible? Normally I'd say yes, but that, that swamp is so marshy there's little danger of burning his house down and rendering him homeless. There should be some nice damp wood in the swamp. Okay, so there we go. He's told us that we need to smoke him out or distract him so we can pick his pocket. So we're going to need to cut some wood. Let's get that swamp tree. Oh, it was dead already. There we go. There's a um, achievement got. Right, okay, so we have to do a fire underneath one of his windows. Does the quest... Oops. Does the quest tell us that? If I light a fire outside one of the windows of Father Ernie's house, it might distract him enough for me to take the key out of his pocket. Right, okay, so... Here's a window. As you can see. So I'm going to step just outside. I'm going to go in my pocket. And I'm going to light... <coughs> Come on, my voice is going funny. I'm going to light the log. Completed camping trip. Right, now I'm going to open the door. Talk to Father Ernie. Go away, I'm meditating. Um. Ah, there we go. So you say, nice chalice, you say whatever you like, and then it goes to the option, fire, fire. Oh no, my house that I built with my own two hands. Ha, ah, now's the chance to pick his pocket while he's distracted. So what we do, turn that around, do that, right click, pickpocket. Oh, wait a minute, maybe I've got to do it from... Oh, he's following me. Let's try it again. Let's talk to him. No, I'm sure it should have let me then. Let's try again. Maybe I had to stand to his side or something. The cursed kids light a fire. No, this just is not. Let's see, bring him over this side. Maybe it's because he's against the wall. He needs to wander. Like so. Oh, and he's gone right back there. We'll try this again. 
wait for him to walk and then talk to him there we go nice chalice fire fire oh the fire's gone out dang it right let's try again yes this will test you uh, and that's one of the reasons why I'm showing it so we chop another log we'll go back to that window light that log Taken ages to light this log. Cool, at last. Right, now we talk to him again. Fire, fire. This just is... I need to be behind him, I'm sure. It says now's my chance, but if I walk around, he's looking at me, so I can't pickpocket him. Cursed. And then I think when it says that accursed, it's been it's too late. So this is proving a little more trickier than I first imagined. Let's have a look. So the fire is still going. I need to catch him in the middle of the floor, perhaps like that. No, I think that's too late. Let's try. Ah, see, so that is only that fire option if you do nice chalice. So that's definitely right. Oh, the fire's gone out again. Chop another log. First time I did this quest, it was so simple. At least my fire making skills going up. <laughs> See, look, he was right in the middle of his hut then. I think that would have been a good time to do it. No, he's just in the, not in a good place. I'm sure I need to get behind him somehow. Let's try. Ah, oh, there we go. So when it comes up with that message down here, now would be a good time to, you just right click and pickpocket. And there we go. Wow, I just made that difficult, I guess. Right, so now what we do, go to the display case and open that. You quietly unlock the display case and remove the golden chalice from it. Okay, now I think we've got to head back to the cellar. Yes, so back to the cellar now.
And even ash is useful for crafting, I believe. Oh, there's the timer, but I'm just going to quickly finish this quest. So we'll overrun just a little. Oh, there's a cannon. Right, back in the cellar. This way. Talk to Darren. Greetings, my young recruit. I'd like to talk about the caper I'm doing for you. Have you retrieved the chalice? I have. Fantastic work. I knew I'd chosen wisely when I recruited you. Now we can expand the guild and do some proper training around here. Your buyers is still interested, I hope. Yes, of course. Why? Well, the chalice wasn't where you said it was, nor was the owner. I just wanted to make sure you had something right in all of this. <laughs> Ha, huh, I do appreciate a sense of humour in my members. That means he don't. It wasn't actually a joke, to be honest. To be honest, you don't want to be honest. You're a member of the illustrious Thieves Guild. Now get out there and make me proud. And both of us rich. And there we go. I've got one more quest point, so I've now got eight. Thieves Skill Literature, which is there. Uh, access to the Expanded Thieves Guild, and ability to collect han hanky points, and two Treasure Hunter Keys. So there we go, very cool. That's the quest done and dusted. Buyers and Sellers. If I take a quick look at this pamphlet, just to show you, you read the instructions document and feel rather more in stealing and larceny you gain 175 thieving XP so each time you read one of these you're going to get that much experience look at that what a cool way to level up your thieving level 6 anyway the timer went so I better end this episode now wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye <laughs>